Good morning, it's June oh, 24th, right? 24th. I've been 19 for one month officially. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I had like a really weird dream last night. I had a dream that I was meeting Alfie Days and Zoella, or Zoe Sug, and they're like two of my favorite YouTubers, so not surprised I would dream about that. Um, but they were like kind of mean. <laughs> in the dream and that I don't know what it was but I like realized I was dreaming and so I wanted to change the dream which that never really goes too well for me like whenever I try whenever I realize I'm dreaming I'm not that person who can do whatever I want in my dream like something has to go wrong so like either I'm trying to change the dream and I wake up or I change the, the dream will just change into something completely different but I won't know I'm dreaming in that change. So, anyway, I realized I was dreaming. And so I was like, I'm gonna change this dream. So I sat down and I was trying to like imagine what I wanted to change it to. All it did was everyone in the room was getting the same images that I was. So everything I was dreaming or pretending to dream was in their head. So they were all like, hey, I'm thinking about blah 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 and then the other guy was like I am too and I was like yeah because I made you think about it they were like cool but I never actually went into that dream so for those of you who don't know this about me I almost dropped my laptop because I don't really get the opportunity to do it as much at college so you don't see it as much I really do love cooking so now that I'm like I'm really home home because for the past like three weeks, almost a month actually, I've been really in and out, like, you know, getting ready to go to Florida, and then I had like a few days here, and then we went to on the cruise, Bermuda. I haven't really been home, so I didn't really want to like ask for a lot of food to actually cook with, because I was like, it's gonna go bad before I get to finish it all. Because since I'm a vegetarian, I usually just cook for myself, so no one else will be eating what I cook. But um, now that I'm here, here, my mom just got groceries, and I'm going to actually like, cook things. <laughs> so the first thing I'm making is like protein balls. Uh, they just have like peanut butter and walnuts and almonds, a couple other things in them. And this one I'm not like finishing right now because what I got to do is actually soak the almonds and the walnuts that are going in it for like at least a few hours. So I'm just going to start that now. One cup of walnuts and half a cup of almonds. And then I'm just going to kind of like make sure they're all mixed up and like getting a good soak. The water already turned brown. That's kind of gross. I mean, I know that's normal because, you know, they're nuts, but it's weird. I don't know for sure how long I'm going to leave those there. It's like 11 o'clock right now, I think. So I have to leave them at least until 2 or 3. Um, yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to finish that. So I just cooked these pierogies. I don't really know if that- why is my face so red? Wow. I don't know if it really counts as cooking because I literally just boiled them, but whatever. So I'm walking my dog right now and today has been like a really slow day. Like that was a bad thing necessarily because it's not like I'm doing boring things and like the time is going by slow, but I don't know. I'm just like just watching TV there's stuff like I want to do, but I need to wait for it. Like one thing, I want to finish the protein balls, but it's only like, uh oh, it's only like 12:30. Hope you can hear me over the barking. It's only like 12:30, so still got a couple more hours before I can start to do anything with them. Come on. And I'll wait until I pass the dogs to finish talking about this. All right, so. I've been considering getting a Fitbit and I was really one of those people who was like the idea of getting a Fitbit was crazy to me because they're so expensive and I feel like you're just spending a lot of money on a pedometer basically which you have on your phone and I do believe that probably does work better on a Fitbit than your phone but I mean that much money for a nice pedometer. I just think it's weird, but I've only heard good things about Fitbits. Like I have never heard a bad thing. Everyone who has one 
It says it's so worth it. Sorry about the wind. <laughs> but yeah, it makes me think that maybe I should get one. And then it just so happens my friend Erin works at Kohl's and I can use her employee discount to get one. And she's also, she may not be working there for much longer. So I don't know, I kind of got to jump on this discounted opportunity while I have it. So these are pretty much soaked for their minimum amount of time that they're supposed to be soaked. So part of me does want to continue with them, but also I'm really not going to eat them until tomorrow, so I may as well let them soak for like a lot longer. I'm trying to practice ASL and my cat just comes up and I'm like here like signing and she's just looking and she would just like look up at me and I'm like I can't, I can't say no to you but like you're in my way and you're distracting. Oh, she's so soft. Look at that. Alright, I'm about to start cooking the vegetable basque rice. Um, I don't want to say this is like my specialty, but this is something that I really enjoy making. And I like the way it tastes, of course. I have decided, I don't know if I should show you how I make this, or just do a time lapse of it. So, in about two seconds, you'll see what I decided. <laughs> Hope you've been enjoying the little time lapse. I think I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the recipe down below. So if you are interested in making this, there is a link to the recipe. Uh, let me just show you what it looks like so far. This is where I'm at. And the step that I'm at right now, you are stirring occasionally, covering it for about 15 minutes, which I forgot to check what time I started this. So let's go. Up. So the rest of it is mostly just a waiting game. Sorry, I spilled water on the stove a little bit, so it's crackling a lot. What I'm doing right now is I brought it to a boil, and you have to cover it and put it on low heat for about half an hour. This is what it looks like. So like I said, I do, I do think I'm going to link the recipe down below. Um, so I'm going to explain a couple differences that I do from the recipe. I'm not a big zucchini fan. Like it's okay, but I'm I don't feel like adding it, so I don't put zucchini in it. I don't do any of the extra garnishing stuff. And this is the first time I've actually done it like this, so I'll let you know how it goes. But I'm using whole wheat brown rice instead of white rice. I decided that while I'm waiting I'm gonna practice some ASL. like after half an hour and it will look different if you used white rice because brown rice needs to be cooked longer and it also doesn't absorb the liquid and expand the same way that white rice does so I'm either gonna I mean I could leave this in longer or I could drain it I don't really know how much more liquid it's really going to absorb, so I may just drain it. I'll probably take a bite and see how rough, or I mean tough the rice is. Just a little bite of rice. It's pretty tough. Um, I, mean, I don't really know how much longer I can leave it in for. Because I mean the recipe says 25 minutes to half an hour. Sorry I'm like out of shot here. 
25 minutes to half an hour, but I mean this rice could use some more cooking, but I don't want to like overcook anything. Um, I'll turn the heat up a little bit. Let's hope for the best. Alright, it's been five minutes, so five minutes later. I mean, yeah, it looks the same. five minutes all right it's been like a second for you it's been five minutes for me let's see what we're working with looks better I think maybe I should have texted my stepdad and asked what he thought I should do with the brown rice he likes cooking I think it's about as good as it's gonna get it's pretty good I'm going to turn this off. So anyway, this is the finished product. It's brown rice with some vegetables and spices, basically. Alright, so it's 9 o'clock. Wow, 9 o'clock. So these nuts, not a joke, have been soaking for put them in an 11 right 11 or 12 so it's been about nine nine or ten hours so that's enough to be considered overnight um, so now I'm supposed to put them in a food processor but we don't have one or if we do I don't feel like looking for it so I'm going to chop them up as much as I can I'm realizing that chopping this up with a knife, I even trying to use this masher thing to get this the way that a food processor would, this is not going to work. Um, I don't know, maybe I could just, I mean the walnuts are pretty easy to chop, it's the almonds that are harder. I mean maybe I could just like cut all the almonds in half and like call it a day. <laughs> That's as good as it gets. Time to move on. before they go in the fridge. Certainly not what I imagined. <laughs> now after all that, I've got to clean the kitchen, so enjoy this time lapse. dog. I'm gonna go for a bit of a long walk. I finished cooking everything. Um, later, probably when I get back from the walk or a little bit after I get back from the walk, I will try the protein balls and see how they are. They're so much messier than I thought they'd be. <laughs> I just thought of an idea for the little protein balls. Not that this really adds protein to it at all, but when I get back I'm actually gonna freeze them. I'll still show you what they look like I guess, but I'm gonna freeze them and then when they're more frozen I'm gonna roll them in like cocoa powder. <laughs> So I decided not to cover them in cocoa batter, but I did freeze them still. And they're pretty good. I like them. Okay, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, if anybody like tries what I, to make what I made today, let me know how it went for you and if you liked it. And also, I put music at the beginning of this video, like the first six minutes, not including the time lapse. Just like, while I'm talking. Let me know if you prefer that. Um, like, now that it's summer, I have more time to edit these videos. Um, so yeah, if you prefer that, let me know and I'll...
start doing that more. So, until tomorrow, remember to inspire others, do good things, and be happy.